There is no escape so easy to take An early departure Slip out the side door Stretching out my back pages Van Gogh's hook Tonight, friends No matter what the time is Time is limitless Therefore, love is timeless I need a word Tis a consummation Devoutly to be wished <laughs> Worst thing that can happen to you in granite is you can lose your smokes or you can lose your shovel. I wonder who lost that. One, two, three, four, one. see a lot from up there. Yes. Is the weather with at home? Hi, Shani. How's the weather? Windy. That'll be five bucks. Okay, look, I just need a word, man. That'll be ten bucks. Whatever, I need a word. Trace, what are you doing here? I just really need a word. You better come in. guys doing in town? Is this about T-Race's surprise wedding? I'm not going. Shame about Eddie. Deported. 
Who would have thought? Someone must have knocked on him. Could have used this phone box. Still, he's a pommy git. Have you seen the old bus stop? They covered it up. They painted the lyric too. It's not nine o'clock anymore. Somebody burnt down drifters. It wasn't me. Anyway, I gotta go. Calls to make. You don't happen to know the time. Hi! Are you here for the filming? Watch out for the. What is that? Dog shit? Don't worry about it. Come on out! This is a good time. Tea race is out. Would you like to take me on the chair? I'll be the director, right? And action. Hi, my name is Golden Trace. Allow me to let you in on a big secret. We're planning a surprise wedding for T Race. T Race and Eddie were supposed to get married on her birthday, which is coming up. I'm not quite sure when, because no one knows the time anymore. Eddie's missing now. Which is a bummer really. Anyway, Gypsy Lynn and the girls are down at Lover's Rock summoning Eddie back for the wedding. Be a real shame if he misses it. They're doing a magic spell. The town of Granity hasn't quite been the same without Eddie. It's like we're all losing the plot. Granity players still have, doesn't have a home. But we are building a shelter for the homeless. Out the back. Come and have a look. It's all a bit bent up, was it? I just need a word. OK, Trace, I hear you. Could you calm the fuck down so I can think? Yes. The word for the day is visitation. Visitation? Maybe that means Eddie's coming back? It's nearly my birthday, I think. Tell me about it. I've completely lost track of time since they painted over the clock. Mm. And I'm sorry you know about Eddie. Happy birthday, by the way. Whenever that is. They're in here. This is Polly. Oh, She's hello. head of the homeless. Hello, hello. Do come in. Would you like a raspberry? This is Mary's brainchild. She went to Australia and got on to the idea of homelessness. Makes a lot of sense, really. No more bills or housework. That's a good shelter. Well, actually, it was the national government that conceptualised it. And then Jacinda got in, and we're really confused. But I stand by the national policy of homelessness because it really works. Polly. She used to be a CEO. <laughs> She's used to using big words. Well, to be honest, working wasn't that much fun. Oh. <sighs> Yahoo! Oh, totally you! I've brought some up since I I've brought some items from the up top so might come in here. Is it jacuzzi? Oh, how thoughtful. No worries. And this is an ice breaker or an ice maker. You plug this bit into the fridge and let the good times roll. Ooh, thank you. Yes. Anything for the poor. Thank you. Golden Trace, um, we've got some new stock in at the op shop. I'll put a penetrator to one side for you. Shall I build a theatre company? Yes, please. Right, you're up. Thank you. This is ludicrous. At least there's bears in the fridge. Beers and box and a vegan sandwich. And blow. Sorry about the spell. I guess I cocked it up. The magic has a mind of its own. Everything works on the foreshore. You watch. Wouldn't it be famous if we could bring Eddie back for tea race? Oh, it would be nice to see her happy again. Lashings of lettuce. <gasps> it's all 
sorted. It's happening. Now. This town is completely big. Trace. Janice Joplin. We're talking in your head. Keith Jackson. Oh yeah. Fuck Jerry. Big Papa MC. <laughs> Eddie and I, we were going to get married this year on my birthday. Uh, that was before we lost track of time. Anyway, we had a few drinks, started Skyping. I Skyped my old high school friends. I think I even Skyped my brother that night. He said he was going to ride his chili bin down from the Coromandel. Not an easy thing to do. There's not that many bottle shops between Murchison and here. Trace's school friends, Jan is Joplin, Keith Jackson, Buck Jerry, and Mark Bopper Squeaky Bean. Wow, they look ace. Who's that? Polly and Paddy, the homeless. Oh shit, here's Eliza. Not sure she's allowed. Trace and Eddie. T Race went off to get a word. Eddie's been missing for a while now. It's a surprise wedding. Shit! Did you let her know? Forgot! You go and find her. I'll look after this lot. T Race, what are you doing? Golden Trace, you'll never guess what. Hurry up, you're getting married. Uh, surprise! When is that happening? Um, now, I think, bloody clock, you can wear these. Come on, people are arriving. I'm really so grateful that, you know, you guys love me enough to organise a wedding on my birthday. And thanks for the bride's uh, outfit, Golden Trace, it's perfect. You're but welcome, T. I mean, if Eddie's not here, who am I going to marry? Well, if we haven't got a groom, maybe you should marry a broom. Well, you're a genius, Mary. Oh, wow, look, who's here? How perfect. What's the weather going to do, dear? I think it's starting to spit. Oh, no, again? Well, it does happen frequently. There's one comes after another. Just 
dearly beloved, we are gathered here today on this day of new beginning. Tracy and Perez. With these rings, I thee wed to race the broom. Any objections to this marriage? Oh, no. Oh, my Stop God. right there. This is a health and safety hazard. And as for you, T Race, what do you think, Bambi? Yeah, we've been keeping our eye on you. What you just done to be successful. Be reasonable. This is my wedding day. Yeah. To a broom. It swept me off my feet. Oh, well, yeah. as for you, T Race, we have your number and you're in big, big trouble, Daddy. Oh, oh, well, oh well, bullies. Yeah, oh, come on, everyone. We're going down the pub. Hey. <laughs>